If you had to pick one sense to lose, which would it be? Oh, I feel like I used to answer this so fast, but then I <laughs> forgot. It's slowly. It's like, is it your brain? I don't know. No, I was like, is it taste? It's it's yeah, you've got touch. You've got taste. You've got smell. You've got... What else? Do you oh, it's smell. <laughs> you would choose smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Why? Um, because here, all I do is listen to music, and without it, I am would be so sad. Like, I'm, I'm nothing. <laughs> so scared about getting tinnitus, because I... Um, sight, like... It's really important for um, watching movies. Birds. <laughs> Birds. That's okay. what I meant. Well, watching I'll let movies. you know. Um, the vast majority of people choose smell. Okay. Interestingly. Okay. So you're in. You're you're in the crowd, but uh, a study was actually asking people about this and found that half of people under thirty say they would sacrifice their sense of smell rather than their favorite electronic device, which is obviously probably their phone. <laughs> Oh my god. And this study was done in 2011, so I can only imagine it's way higher now. But when I thought about the question, I was like, would I? Like if you could never use a phone again or never have smell again. That honestly, it's like the phones were cyborgs are our new sense. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, like I, a, yeah. it's an interesting it's question. An extra sense. Like and imagine mean. asking as a Gen Z person this before you finish the question. They'd be like, "I keep the phone." Yeah. You know what I mean? They'd be like, "They'd be like, give up like any whatever it is." Um, I That's kind dark. of at first thought that I was like, "Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to give up my phone," or I can understand why I'd feel attached to it. But the more I looked into it, was like, uh, "Your scent, scent." is approximately or up to 90% of your taste. So you would be losing mm. a lot. You wouldn't just be losing the ability to smell. You'd also <laughs> be missing out on your ability to taste, which is a huge part, I think, of like, we're drinking right now. We were going to get some dinner tonight. Like, it's, you know, such an enjoyable part of life. such a regret. Like, someone would definitely be like, my phone, over oh, smell. Then all of a sudden, they'd be like, everything tastes beige. <laughs> and, like, they would deal with therapy and depression, probably. Yeah. So wow. I had read that. If you, <laughs> if you close your eyes and plug your nose and eat a jelly bean, for example, you won't be able to tell which flavor it is. A birdie mouth time for flavor your brain. <laughs> Obviously, if you had a different object, you'd know ahead of time. But at least with jelly beans, you, you wouldn't know, you know, because they're all the same. So okay, are, is our brand ASAP science? Uh, we should make a video. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Smell is very interesting. I was reading the uh, the book, The Body, which I know you had partially read as the book, well. The body. book, The Body. Where is Amazing. The Body? That's what I had, this had first prompted it for me. Uh, and smells just really fascinating. Like, un not to say other senses are not as interesting or as intricate, but smell is so under-researched. They said that there's 350 plus odor receptors in your nose, but only half of them are common to everyone. So everyone also smells the world in a different way, has a unique experience. It's why some things smell can smell good to someone and actually smell bad to another. And around two to five percent of people have something called. Uh, Anos anosmia, I don't actually say it, which is a total loss of smell, or hyposmia, which is a partial loss of smell. Oh, wow. Anosmia is what I'm going to say. And were those people who, in this, when the genie showed up, they said, I chose my phone over yeah, smell, like, and they yeah, took it from you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, um, so would you, after all this, still choose to lose your smell, sense of smell, or would you choose your... As someone who's on a quest to like become a naturalist, I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm going to get rid of <laughs> my phone. <laughs> but I'd like deep down, like before bed, the dark thought is like, of course I'd give up my smell. 